So we're going to be looking at uh, mixing a, a weak acid and a strong base. And first of all, we need to use um, the standards to make a vibration curve. And then we are going to be taking a large number of readings. And you can see I've already got my table pre-drawn for this. This is something essential you're going to have to do in your lab books. Okay, so we're going to be using a pH meter today. pH meters will generally come stored um, in a container so that the pH meter doesn't dry out. And the first thing you need to do is really, really thoroughly rinse down your pH meter with um, deionized water to get anything that's hanging around there completely off it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to put our buffers into our probe, into our buffer standard solutions and read off what the pH meter says and you can see it's really quite a long one with F4. That's fine for the moment. So I have ethanoic acid down here in the beaker. I've got my pH probe and in the burette above I've got sodium hydroxide. I'm going to add sodium hydroxide two centimeters cubed at a time um, and measure the pH each time something's added. You know, if you're constantly stirring while you're doing this and then once you've got the results um, you need to draw some graphs. So now I've done the experiment and I've got where the pH, the standards were and what the actual um, pH was. So I've drawn my graph over here of what the actual reading was versus the pH standard. And you can see I've plotted my points here and they come out in a really nice straight line. So the next thing I need to do is look at my experimental data. Take my reading of 5.43 uh, here. Find 5.43. Go across and then read down. I'll do this properly in a second. So I can take what the pH meter said to what the actual pH was. 